Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have a new video, a new season and a new uh, episode with Cardiff City. Now as you can see season 3 is upon us, 90 manager rating, came second in the Premier League last season and we're back again. As you can see here, first things first I'm going to show you, group stage 4, the pre-season tournament. We've got Leon, Benfica and Monaco. Like we normally do with these, uh, we're just going to sim every game. Um, but first, what I want to show you is the um, transfer offers which I have got for these two players, Cunningham and Rouse. But before actually I do that, I want to go to the squad and show you the players which we have um, listed up. So I'm going to do it from this way. Um, keeping Ramsey, keeping off the sheet, keeping Kamarasa, Dembele, Musunda. Rouse, I have listed. Uh, Dante, I've listed as well. He's 36 now. He did uh, he did his job for the one season he was here. I think it's time for him to leave. Um, also, Cunningham, you know, he's been a really good servant to us, but he's getting a bit old now, and we're going to look to spice up the left back um, position with some players, which hopefully you guys can suggest. Uh, I really, really need some suggestions on this video four players to sign. I've got quite a lot of players that people have previously said um, and a few players that I have had a look at myself. Um, we're going to make one, we're going to try and make one signing in this episode which is one of my players which I've seen um, which could potentially be a really 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 big signing uh, because we do have Champions League football next season. So moving on, Narsing I've put him up as well, uh, 29 now. Uh, I just uh, I fell out of love with Narsing in a sense. Um, so he's up there. Hoyler I've kept just to have around. I know he's 30. I mean, you know what? I'm going to add him to the list because he is 30. And yeah, it's time to bring in some more players. I'll show you the transfer budget and what the board are expecting as well after this. Murphy, Mendes Lang, Bennett, Damore all going as well. And the rest of the youth players which are staying. So hopefully we can get some money for them people. Um, first of all, look at this. 115 million we have to spend. Um, so that's a lot of money and a lot of players that could potentially come into Cardiff City. So it is vital that you give me player suggestions. But let's look at the board expectations for the season. Um, uh, let's just go. Youth development. Sign at least. I probably won't do this this year. That's why. Because last year I did it quite a lot. Uh, and I'm happy with the youth players I've got right now. Um, they want to, within three seasons, increase season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium's capacity. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but because we've got Champions League football, hopefully that will uh, help us along the way. Uh, they want us to reach the quarter final of the Champions League, which you never know. If we bring in some good players and have a good squad depth, we could easily do that. Um, domestic success, uh, they want us to finish in a Europa League spot, which is fine. And then the round of 16 for the FA Cup. And for the financials, within two seasons, increase the club worth of your club by 20%. That doesn't really matter. Um... What I am going to show you is the offers now for Cunningham. Um, four million pounds from Verona. Um, he is worth 4.2. You know, I'm just going to accept them. Rouse, um, actually, he's worth 9.5, and they've offered 10. I'm just going to completely straight away accept that. Um, what I'm going to do now, just clear those now, and we're going to go over to our transfers um, because these are all the players that you guys have suggested. Uh, and there's a few players that I've put in as well, so we'll go through position. Um, uh, Gazi, Ni, Ni, oh, I can't even pronounce his name. That's I really was going to scuff that name. Um, <clears throat> Van Dyke. Now, this is the player which I suggested. He's 28, he's 87 rated, he's valued at £36 million. Liverpool got relegated last season. He's in the Championship. No Champions League football, no Europa League. So we're going to try and buy him in this episode. That is going to want to play in the championship. He wants to play Champions League football. We're going to be offering him uh, that with £40 million. Let's see what Liverpool are going to say to that. 66 they want for him. I mean, you're a championship club, Jürgen. I'm going to have to drop that down to 60. What are they going to say back to that? 61 now. If we drop that down, uh, how about we go down to 58.5 and then add a sell on clause for. 20% submit that let's see what they say he says that's a fair offer let's go Van Dyke could potentially be joining Cardiff City in season 3 
We're going to go and negotiate a deal now with Van Dijk. Let's see what he's going to say. He's going to be on a lot of money, which um, obviously we're going to be selling some players, so we'll be able to get some wage budget back in. Um, obviously, I want to have him on at least a four-year deal. Uh, he is 28, but he wants two years. I mean, till he's 30, I'll take that because we might only be doing one more season of this. Proposed a release clause. I want to give him a £60 million release clause. I don't know if they will accept that. Okay, that's fine. Now his wage. So obviously he's on a hundred grand now. So obviously that's what I'm going to offer him, and I'll give him a 1.5 million bonus just to see what he's going to say for that. I don't know what he's going to say. Fair offer. Virgil Van Dijk has signed for Cardiff City. What a signing that is! Sign a top player. We did indeed. He's going to go straight into the team. Unfortunately, that means Dante will be coming out um, for Van Dijk. Uh, I'll put him on the bench for now, but he actually I'm not going to because he's going to be leaving. Uh, as you can see, the squad depth isn't great, so we're going to have to buy a lot of players. So please, please, please suggest some players down below in the comment section. This is it for the intro. We're going to move on into the first preseason game against Benfica. Like I said, we're going to be simming that game and throughout the whole preseason. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, guys, we're moving on into the first game of the preseason. Um, I'll just let the uh, I'll just do this for just for this match. I think it's Van Dyke because he's on international duty right now. Um, but this will be a good test for us against uh, a big side like Benfica. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I'm not sure if we're going to win or we're going to get absolutely battered. Uh, but Ribeiro there getting a red card straight away within the first 20 minutes. Uh, still no no at half time. Second half has started. Not really much happening in this game. One of their players gets injured there. Um, Ferreira, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. It's going to be nil-nil still. Is it going to be a late goal? No. So the game ends nil-nil, guys. And we do move on with the pre-season. Uh, I'll take a point against uh, the first um, against the first game. You know, uh, We've got a lot of hard teams. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this training, I've got Dembele, Green, King, Cooper and Clark on the training. Uh, most of them, obviously, apart from Dembele. Oh, Dembele's 23, but the others are youngsters uh, trying to get their ratings up uh, so they can be first team players. Now, we've got an offer for Demore, 1.7 million. Uh, he's only worth 1.8. I'm just going to sell him to offload him. Uh, Josh Murphy as well. How much does they offer? They've actually offered more than what he's worth, so I will take that. St Etienne coming in with a big bid uh, for him. Uh, Demore didn't want to. He wanted to play, but I just didn't want to select him. Anyway, we advance on. Next game is actually against Monaco. Uh, a transfer for for Mendes Lang as well. We're just getting rid of the Deadwood guys. Um, I'm just going to accept all of the offers that I do get because um, we've got a decent chunk of money anyway, uh, so we can afford to just sell the players for whatever, and hopefully we can. Uh, Win against Monaco. They just beat Leon, uh, so I'm not too sure if we're gonna do it. Uh, just for this match, uh, we're gonna play. They beat them 2-1. I mean, we drew 0-0 of uh, Benfica, so I mean, I'm not really expecting us to do any better because uh, Monaco are probably a better team than Benfica. Uh, you can argue, but let's just see. Dembele scores a penalty. We won the love. 32 minutes in. Oh, Chadley's missed the penalty for Monaco, and it is now the second half. Still 1-0 to us. Cooper comes on for Hoylet. Oh, they score, and Cooper gets injured as well in the 67th minute. Still 1-1. Can we get a late goal? No, we can't. So 1-1. Unfortunately, Cooper did get injured there, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's see how long he's going to be out for. Raul's got sold. Loan offer for Green. Uh, I'm going to reject this just because I want to keep my youngsters at the club. Um, like I said, reject that. Cooper's out for how long? Two weeks. Okay, it's not that bad. Not as bad as I thought. We're third right now because Benfica must have beat Leon. I mean, hopefully we can beat Leon because I mean they've lost both their games and they've got to play us. So yeah, hopefully we can win. Um, got some emails again. All these players are getting sold. Uh, Rouse, uh, Cat Patterson. I'm probably just gonna have you as a rotational player. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to just pick uh, fix for this match. And we're going to go again against Leon. Hopefully, we can uh, get a win here. They've lost both their games. 
So hopefully, oh, Ramsey scores within the first minute. Oh my days, that was quick. Kemen scores for Leon in the 12th minute. Can we get another goal in the first half? Hopefully, because we need to win if we want to um, stay in the tournament. Ramsey gets the second of the game. Let's go. Green picks up a yellow card who came on for Hoylet. Can we push on and get the win? It's getting towards the end of the game. Ramsey scores a hat trick. It's 3 1. And hopefully, that means we do progress on through the tournament. And we do. Let's go. What I'm going to do. Let's do the player training again. I know Cooper's going to be injured, so I'm just going to leave them for now. Uh, and I'll just leave that one. Um, uh, yeah, just quit that. I don't want to add another one because I'll bring Cooper back in. But semi-finals against Atalanta. Uh, Brewster, scout report. I'll look at that later. Mendes Lang sold. We've got an extra 1.1 million, uh, which is really good to see. Atalanta in the semis. Hopefully we can get a win. That would be great. Transfer hover for Hoylet. 4.4. I'm going to accept that. Um, and I'm going to do a bit of business uh, with the suggestions for you guys and also players that I'm going to look at and scout you know, to see who we can bring in and replace players like Hoylet. So, semi finals. The other semi final was Benfica and Werder Bremen. Um, we can see straight away uh, Vido scores for Atalanta. Hopefully we can come back and get into the final. I don't think it's going to happen. But Dembele scores and it's 1-1. Loftus-Cheek scores, it's 2-1. Oh no, Vido scores again, it's 2-2. Vido missed the penalty, it's still 2-2. Any other late drama going to happen in this game? Extra time. Oh wow, we lost 4-3 on pens. Well, that's one way to come crashing out the tournament. I mean, we got to the semis. Hopefully we get a, another bit of money. Uh, in the bank, we get 2.6 million, which is nice, and they the board are pretty happy with what we've got. So, how much have we got left in the bank? We do have around 76 million, so that is happy days. Um, what we're going to do now is do another bit of training whilst we're on. Oh no, that's actually the last one, doesn't matter. Anyway, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm just gonna end the episode here because I want your suggestions for players that I need to sign. Um, as you can see, the squad is, um, well, <laughs> they're a bit tired, but we need some big overhaul and big improvements. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna try and buy a lot of players in this window. Uh, some of them will probably be like rotational players, but either way, uh, that's what's gonna happen. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Please leave me transfer suggestions in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!